Here at Surrey Business School we are delighted this year to host the sixth edition of the Innovation in Information Infrastructure Workshop. This is a workshop that has a core community of uh, researchers from the world of information systems. But in the economy that we are seeing today with the power of digital platforms and the prevalence of ecosystem, the theme of, of this year's conference is about information infrastructure and platforms and ecosystem. So the community is opening itself to scholars from management, from strategy, from innovation, from media, and is an opportunity to have a conversation across these different disciplines. The community has been concerned with the issue of design, of behaviour of large-scale information systems, how this infrastructure change the way in which organisations behave. I gave a keynote at this conference this morning on digital platforms and, and ecosystems, building on a, a new book that I've published called The Business of Platforms. The main message of the book is that platforms are very powerful, they create an enormous amount of value, but they are double-edged swords and that the dominance of platforms is becoming increasingly problematic. The panel that I'm chairing is really trying to look at the issue of how do we understand the relationship between platforms and infrastructures and ecosystems. And one of the main problems is of course that the issue of platforms and infrastructures have been studied from many different perspectives. I think it'll be an extremely interesting debate of trying to get multidisciplinary into the discussion of platform ecosystems and infrastructures. If we want to study platform power and how platforms gain infrastructural properties, we need to inquire into how they expand technologically and economically. So I think the challenge up next is how can we derive methods and how can we find data sources to write histories of platforms. There is a lot of discourse out there about data, but not how data build the links between companies, services, actors and consumers, and how in this quality they partake into the construction of platforms and ecosystems. Data are very, very important. That kind of thing is missing from our theories and from our ideas. What I talked about today is the process of platformization in the banking sector. Customers now um, have the ability to share their data with uh, the parties that they give consent to for their data to be analyzed for them to get better services in the financial sector. Now this is supposed to really increase competition and uh, make uh, banking more innovative but at the same time it creates this platformization process in the sector and incumbents and fintechs respond very differently for, to this uh, platformization process. Some some of them have infrastructural issues and others have issues convincing customers to come with them. So what we're looking at is a holistic uh, picture of how platformization is coming into this regulated and really data sensitive sector. So the main message is how information technology is uh, increasingly integrated into our everyday life, uh, our physical world, our biological world. The convergence of these two uh, give rise to what I call organic machines, the machines that uh, seem to uh, evolve, uh, change every time it operates. And uh, the outcome of such machines, organic machines, is what I would call uh, artificial intelligence. As these organic machines become a a critical uh, tools of firms in creating value. What does it do to the future of uh, the firm? How does it change the way they create, deliver and capture value? This sixth edition of the Information Infrastructure Workshop has seen the participation of 45 new research, so 45 papers presented, two keynotes, three panels. We have confronted the issue of what's the role of information infrastructure for digital platform and platform ecosystems.